Alright guys, this is Paul Street with Nexus Studios. I've put together a short video to show you how to install the Super Ultimate Portrait Pack for Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, the successor to the Ultimate Portrait Pack for BG1 and BG2. Um, first thing you're going to do is you'll download it from either the Mod D DB website or from our website, and you'll have a little file like this. With that file, what you want to do is you want to double click on it to start the installer you may get a warning pop-up that looks like this. You're going to go ahead and uh, you can uncheck or leave this checked here, it doesn't matter. You just want to hit run. After you hit run, you're going to come to the wizard installer. It'll look a little like this. You'll see this image here on the left and it'll say next. It'll give you the options for back, next, or exit. Obviously we're going to click next here. Um, here's a brief description of the, ultimate of the super ultimate portrait pack and then you'll hit next again and then this just states that I'm not the owner of any of the portraits if you need to find the portraits use Google image search to find the source imagery um, e everything like that uh, you'll need to agree to that in order for you to go to the next page you can hit next and on this page what this installer does is it looks through the system registry settings to attempt to find your Baldur's Gate enhanced edition install directory if you look at this and it looks correct, you're in good shape. So here it's, it looks in my C drive, sees that I have it in Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition on my C drive and program files, and it's going to attempt to install it there. If this comes up and it's wrong, um, you can simply browse here with this button on the right to wherever your installation is. Just hit next after that. Make sure you have enough disk space needed and available disk space here. Um, obviously I have 248 gigs and only need 191 megs, so I'm good to go. I'll hit next and then it's going to say it's going to install okay I'll hit start alright this install is going to take a little while um, basically this install is going to put 546 new portraits in your in your override directory along with recropped small portraits for the manly portraits um, basically I thought that the manly portraits their face to portrait ratio was too small so I recropped them a little bit to make sure they fit a little better um, after it's done, you're just going to hit next right here, and then it'll say this. This is just a click team install creator message saying that I created this installer with a freeware uh, pro, uh, installer. You hit exit here. What's going to happen is it's going to pop up with a README with an Adobe Acrobat README file for the portrait pack. Let me see if I can bring it on screen here. Okay, here you go. It's going to pop up with this file, which gives you uh, even more information. It shows you how it's going to look when you install the portraits. It's going to show you uh, info and credits, um, uh, other stuff like, all right, all those message noise messages or people on Steam messaging, trying to get to be able to test the portrait pack right now. Anyways, it'll have the credits. Um, other people who created most of the portraits in the pack, um, another person who compiled a lot of portraits, and uh, Cor Coriander helped me with some technical assistance on what files to edit, uh, some frequently asked questions also. If you need any more information, please look through that file first. If you can't find an answer or you need more explanation, feel free to email me. My email is listed right here in the facts. Just click on that link and it will open up a, a mail message to me. Alright, you can close this out and it's installed at this point so all you want to do is run Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition so you want to go down run your Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition alright just click on Baldur's Gate I love, I love how they put the Nietzsche quote back in and then to make sure your portraits are working correctly the easiest way to do it is to go to multiplayer pre-generate a character pick your gender male or female and then if you go right you're gonna look through the old portraits if you go left you'll start looking through the new portraits boom I'll go through a few of them here um, most of these are community created or for Neverwinter Nights or Icewind Dale or other video games um, I didn't create any of these some I added backgrounds to if they didn't have a background on them but uh, in general you should just go through here, pick whatever portrait you want. Um, let's see. Um, it has all the male ones are in the male section, and all the female ones are automatically in the female section. 
See, here it starts with the orc ones at the bottom, and then goes back up. Uh, there are a lot, you'll just have to kind of scroll through them. And let's see if we can pick a decent one here. Um, so let's pick this one right here. Human. Thief. Basically, I'm just going to show you that everything works correctly. We'll make a pickpocket thief, and that's it. Uh, you can change their appearance if you want. Select a voice, name. Get the name done, and then you are ready to go. You can export this character. And now if I want to import a character, it's going to have everything already good to go there. And that's pretty much it. Um, everything else should work fine without any issues after that. So if I go to a new game, it'll have it right there. Alright, thanks.